sending their children to college? Woo! We don't have the means to provide a free and complete education to everyone? 
I refuse to believe that we can't provide the means for everyone to pursue life, to pursue happiness. But first, we must pursue liberty. I turn now to the 1% of our country that owns 14% of all of our wealth. We, the 99%, are in essence giving you a way out. If we did not act now, you would not, realize, you would not have the chance to realize that the status quo you are maintaining is unsustainable. You would not have the chance to realize that all the capital you have hoarded is rapidly losing confidence. You would not have realized that all the money you have means nothing when those who have not refuse to accept it. You would not have realized that if your target market has money to send, spend, that in turn becomes your chance to produce more markets before you are run out or before your market collapses. We know that things have gone wrong. We all, all 100% of us, know that we must look upon the present now with the perspective fully encompassing of each potential future. You all, you the 99 or 1%, have a choice. We can act in unity. We can fly the same banner of compassion and progress and rise as one, or we can fall. It now falls upon all of you. Choose. Choose to act. Choose to protest. Choose to motivate your peers to pursue their desires as well. Prove all this Huxley wrong, or we will fall. Thank you. Yeah. He did it without the megaphone, but I've never been on one before, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Back, 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 wrangle, wrangle, wrangle. Okay, good. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah. This is the Declaration of the Occupation of New York City. This document was accepted by the New York General Assembly on September 29th. 2011. As we gather together in solidarity to express a feeling of mass injustice, we must not lose sight of what brought us together. We write so that all people who feel wronged by the corporate forces of the world can know that we are your allies. As one people, united, we acknowledge the reality that the future of the human race requires the cooperation of its members that our system must protect our rights, and upon corruption of that system, it is up to the individuals, us, to protect their own rights and those of their neighbors, that a democratic government derives its just power from the people, but corporations do not seek consent to extract wealth from the people and the earth, and that no true democracy is attainable when the process is determined by economic power. We come to you at a time when corporations, which place profit over people, self-interest over justice, and oppression over equality, run our governments. We have peaceably assembled here, as is our right, to let these facts be known. These facts. They have taken our houses through an illegal foreclosure process, despite not having the original mortgage. They have taken bailouts from taxpayers with impunity, and continue to give executives exorbitant bonuses. They've perpetuated inequality and discrimination in the workplace based on age, the color of one's skin, sex, gender identity, and sexual orientation. They have poisoned the food supply through negligence and undermined the farming system through monopolization. They have profited off the torture, confinement, and cruel treatment of countless animals to actively and actively hide these practices. They have continuously sought to strip employees of the right to negotiate for better pay and safer working conditions. They have held students hostage with tens of thousands of dollars of debt on education, which Woo! is Woo! itself a human right. Woo! Yes. They have consistently outsourced labor and used that outsourcing as leverage to cut workers' health care and pay. They have influenced the courts to achieve the same rights as people with none of the culpability or responsibility. They have spent millions of dollars on legal teams that look for ways to get them out of contracts in regards to health insurance. They have sold our privacy as a commodity. They have used the military and police force to prevent 
freedom of the press. They have deliberately declined to recall faulty products endangering lives in pursuit of profit. They determined economic policy despite the catastrophic failures their policies have produced and continue to produce. They have donated large sums of money to politicians who are responsible for, for regulating those policies. They continue to block alternate forms of energy to keep us dependent on oil. They continue to block generic forms of medicine that could save people's lives or provide relief in order to protect investments that have already turned a substantial profit. They have purposely covered up oil spills, accidents, faulty bookkeeping, and inactive ingredients in pursuit of profit. They purposefully keep people misinformed and fearful through their control of the media. They have accepted private contracts to murder prisoners even when presented with serious doubts about their guilt. They have perpetuated colonialism at home and abroad. They have participated in the torture and murder of innocent civilians overseas. They continue to create we weapons of mass destruction in order to receive government contracts. To the people of the world, we, the New York City General Assembly, Occupy Wall Street and Liberty Square, urge you to assert your power. Exercise your right to peaceably assemble, occupy public space, create a process to address the problems we face, and generate solutions accessible to everyone, to all communities that take action and form groups in the spirit of direct democracy. We offer support, documentation, and all of the resources at our disposal. Join us and make your voices heard. Yeah. If any of you connected with any of that or or that that rang true to you you are here for all the right reasons and more thank you yeah i have copies anybody want one
And the reason why we're going to do that is because they've trampled on us for years and years. I've seen people go up and say, it's Barack Obama's fault. It's George W. Bush's fault. If it was one person's fault, do you think we would have been able to solve it by now? No, it's a huge system. And the only way we're going to face it is when we tag it head on. That's all I got to say. Yeah! Testing, testing. Yeah. This is my first time using this, so work with me for a second. I'm gonna take some facts, and you tell me if you have a problem with this. The outstanding student loan debt in 2012 will be close to one trillion dollars. Do you have a problem with that? Yeah. The workers age 16 to 29, 50 percent of them are unemployed. Do you have a problem with that? Yeah. We reach out to government and corporations to make the change we want to see happen. But, you know, now we can't make that happen. We have to self-organize to create the change we want to see. Do you believe that? Yeah. yeah. This, you know, this system is manipulated. The dollar is manipulated. It creates manipulated scarcity. There's not enough money to go around for everybody. So we have to incur debt to get money we need for the stuff that we need to live, in a sense. And it's time for us to create a new currency, a social currency that's backed by people, backed by what they produce. We have to produce something. We outsource everything. China. Everything, almost everything we get is from China. So now we have to start being self-sufficient, start collaborating with each other, helping each other, producing. That's what I'm all about, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And if you look at it, all the major change started in the college community. You look Woo! back at Vietnam War, you saw the movement that happened with that. So now, you know, with the internet, they cannot hide information from us anymore. They cannot do it. We're here now. We're here, and now it's time for us to self-organize to make it happen. And that's what I'm all about. Thank you. Yeah! yeah. Am I on? Yeah. Oh, very good. I'd like to tell you a story. My great uncle worked in the coal mines of West Virginia Woo! in the middle of the 20th century. He was a union man and a union organizer. Woo! And he was proud of his family. He was proud of where he came from. Today, he would be sick at the amount of horrible, degenerate nonsense that this country has gone down the tubes to buy. He stood for the American tradesman. Where is the American tradesman? Right here. Woo! Where is he? Right here. Nobody in this country produces anything anymore. Yeah. We do not produce anything. We do not make anything except debt. We make money. We sure print it. We print plenty of it. Yeah. We print enough. We print enough money for it to be used as toilet paper. Yeah. After the First World War in Germany, the German mark was so worthless. People would insulate their houses with them. Children would use them for building blocks. They would be used for fuel in gas stoves because they couldn't afford any other fuel. They burned their worthless currency. And I am not, I am not a communist or an anarchist or a socialist. But I believe in what the Constitution says and I believe in the rights and the freedoms of all people. All right. Yeah. And we cannot have a free and democratic society if we are being force-fed the idea of the lesser of two evils. Of if a conservative or a liberal has the only I, has the only option of voting for a Democrat or a Republican, they're voting for the same person. And it is not George Bush, and it is not Barack Obama, but it is everyone associated 
with this two-party system we have in this country and the amount of apathy that we have towards the working people in this country. We need to produce things. We need to produce tangible items. Yes, we're consumers, but if we don't produce anything to consume, then what do we have? We have a Federal Reserve note for all transactions, public and private. Nothing. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, yeah Cassie! longer. We will make our presence and our voices known. We will protest corporations buying out our votes and our voices in Congress. We will exercise our rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. By the people, for the people. We the people, and we the 99%. Thank you. Citizens. 
We are not here to get in their way. We are here to help them. We won't have artificial devices such as bullhorn. That's okay. We've worked out systems to make sure we are heard. Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. There is no curfew for a protest. <laughs> there is no protest curfew. Exactly. <laughs> the only exceptions to this would be if you're a minor. There is a safe citywide uh, curfew. If you uh, are in, on private property, you can be removed. If you're in public property, they ask that you keep moving, that you don't go to sleep. But I tell you what, as long as the problems that are facing this nation are happening, I can't sleep. Oh, yeah! And also, if you're in a park, they have set curfew, so we need to respect that as well. But the main thing is, the arrests that are happening in New York, it's mainly because they're doing things like blocking traffic. The Occupy Richmond movement will never ask you to break a law. However, the decision remains to be yours. We ask that you respect the rights of the others that are protesting and not close the scene. But if you are unjustly treated at any protest, we will be there for you. We are setting up a legal subcommittee. We are setting up all kinds of routes to be there for your rights. Just like we are trying to protect the rights of the others that we are protesting for. And the only other thing that really asked is that common sense be used. No illicit drugs. No alcohol. We're working on the making that uh, occupation-wide zero tolerance policy. No harassment. We're going to try to police ourselves so that they don't have to become involved. Because it doesn't look good on them and it doesn't look good on us in the eyes of the media. Together we can work this out. Together we can make our voices heard. It's not our job to have the answers. It's our job to make sure the questions are being heard. Yeah. And now to see us on the 15th. All right. Yeah.